Hello everyone and welcome back to Precious Snow channel. Today's video is going to be about quality assurance analyst and how is their job role going to be like? How are they being paid as well? To answer most of your questions, this video is going to be for you. Whoever is stepping forward into the role of a quality analyst. So getting into this role is quite a demanding task indeed because it's not just easy about maintaining and looking into the services that you will be rendering to the organization at one end and on the other hand you should be also looking ahead with all the res revolutionized uh, productivity work that you would be heading over with resolving the issues or uh, looking into the basic parameters that you would be further reporting and documenting ahead. So with that note, we will be first looking into the first part of the video is all going to be about what does this person do, what are the skills that are required and how you can become one as well. Along with that, we will be heading over to the job roles that are interlinked between and then we are going to answer your question which is how you are paid. So do not skip any section of the video because you don't might want to miss all of the major details which we are covering. We are not going to get into in-depth understanding of the role but this is just going to give you a basic idea before stepping into the role of a quality assurance analyst. So what does this person is or who is this person or what does this person actually would do? A quality assurance analyst is somebody who would be ensuring the organization software whether it's working properly or not. After the software developers program they build a program the quality assurance analyst tested. So it is all related to the testing part and giving out a proof of assurance that that particular product or the program that they have built is safe to go. So with that note, how you can become one with the skills that are mentioned here. There are system testing, uh, test automation, software test, uh, test planning, anti-money uh, laundering, SQL, black box testing. All of this is going to be the foundational course which you need to keep be implementing in order to start off your career as a quality testing analyst. So you have to, being in this quality assurance analyst really demands all of the testing procedures for the individual to understand and then execute. So here you can know as to what does this person would be actually doing in depth. So it's not just understanding the definition, it's all about, about how are uh, the individuals executing their role, which is quality assurance analysts are typical, uh, typically tasked with testing products and then they would be ensuring that they are meeting up with the standards or working for the objective that particular program is looked in for. They would be looking into the product is whether it's a reliable, functionable, user friendly, meeting the needs of the users. So all of meeting the objectives or meeting the productive uh, or the product reliability and then quality assurance analysts would also works as software companies would be manufacturing plants and any other services which are facilitates or cooperates where it is all about checking the quality of the product which is going to be the prior prior task that they have to be fulfilling. So in order to understand more about the role you should be able to deep dive into how you can become one which is experiencing having in such roles such as a tester, quality assurance engineer or you can also start off your career as a customer service representative with that note. So this is not a menial job. You can understand that customer service representative always represents, knows the objective, works on a subjective basis and know how comprehensive that he or she can get with the working analysis of the company. So in that note, you can further adapt your career or you can shift up your career into a quality assurance analyst. And with this note, you can also you have to also understand as to what are the job roles which are interlinked with this so that you can have a very clear idea before you step into the role. So design, develop and manage automation tests in case and suits uh, and then identifying test data needs. You have to also know various other techniques and parameters that you are implementing whilst checking in the quality of the product and perform regression testing and then to ensure that product changes that have been implemented and further the product has been out into the market and then it has been a productive progress to the users or the clients. 
So whoever it is, you should make sure that whichever or whatever thing that is let out has always has to be passed by this quality assurance analyst itself. Now that you have understood all of the basic idea of the role, you should also understand how these people are paid. So if you are one, consider yourself that getting an average pay in India with 4 lakhs per annum, a good start off with your professional life indeed. Now you might be wondering like where did you get this average pay from? We have taken all this data from the source pay scale. If you want to know in depth, you can always head over to Payscale website and check it for more. We have just covered out the basics for you to give an idea and understand. And getting into a deeper understanding, this is how your professional life is going to look like, which means pay by experience of a quality assurance analyst describes the graph given here from year 1 to year 10 or 20. So eventually you can see that graph or the professional graph here is taking a leap of growth so that you can understand as to how you are progressing with it and further you would be able to analyze as to how you are adapting yourself with the skills and the implementation part as well. We are now stepping into the major part of the video which is how each location is paying. You know if you are belonging to any of the places which I am mentioning make sure that you are having a very high demand on your skills and about your profile before stepping into the career. The first is Mumbai with a pay of 4,94,000 per annum and that's a good start. And then in Hyderabad it's 5,29,000 per annum again crossing out the average pace. And in Bangalore it's 5,18,000 per annum. Now that's a very good start off indeed. Now this pay which we have mentioned it can be for a beginner if you're having the right set, mid-level career or even by experience because it depends, it varies from organization to organization and company to company. So with that note, uh, the next place is Pune 4,38,000 and then in Noida 5,69,000 as I've mentioned, it always depends from place to place and company to company and the amount of uh, network that you are rendering into the organization is all taken into consideration. Speaking of companies, have you ever wondered how each company is paying to their quality assurance analyst? We will be now looking into. First is looking into Tata Consultancy Services, TCS is paying 6,53,000. Now that's a really good start because crossing out all of the location wise pay scale, TCS is paying a very high end pay. Then Oracle 4,89,000 almost to an end and then Accenture the last place that we are on the last company that we are looking into is 4,39,000 quite a balanced pay indeed now who might not want to step into even if you are starting at your foundations or even if you are on an internship basis or working for an open source things you can always look forward for an elevation just like the professional graph that we have shown. Now if you have more suggestions to make, do place them in the comment section and uh, also if you have any opinions regarding this, do place them in the comments because even others might find it useful reading yours. And uh, any questions for us in the comment section, we will be happy to answer you. Do share it with your friends whoever is looking forward to step into this career of a quality assurance analyst. And thank you so much for watching till the end. 